Hello friends, in this video we will see processes in Linux. So what are processes? Processes are the tasks executed by uh, the processor in the RAM. What are the current processes? To check the current processes, we can either log in as a uh, root user or you can log in as a normal user. Uh, we'll op log in as a normal user, I'll open a tab. You can see Mac as Mac desktop. So to check what are the processes running in the computer, I can do a top command. Top command is similar to the Windows Task Manager in Linux. I'll do TOP command and press enter. You can see you'll get a screen which is almost similar to the processes in the Windows Task Manager in Linux. So you can see all the processes run by root user, Mac user. So if you want to see only uh, the root user's process, you can press U and press R O O T root and press enter. So you can see only the root users uh, processes will be displayed and if you want to see uh, Mac users uh, uh, processes you can press U and press MAC Mac and press enter. So you can see all the processes which are running currently uh, by the Mac user will be displayed here. So if you want to kill any process, you can do kill any process uh, which is currently run. You can use, for example, if there's a Bluetooth device here run by Mac 1290. If you want to kill that process, you can use a K, K command in the top. While well, top is executing, you can use a K command. It says PID to kill. So you can give any PID uh, you want to kill that. I'll give a... 1290 and press enter. It'll ask me for a signal. Okay, there are different signals to kill a process or uh, to uh, uh, send signal to a process. Uh, if you say 9, it will be uh, killed. If you say 9, so the process will be killed. The Bluetooth process will be killed. So this way we can uh, kill any process. For example, if I uh, open a Firefox here, you can see I open a Firefox here and that will be visible in the top command. You can see Firefox bin is there and the PID is 2288. You can see 2288 is the PID. If I want to kill the Firefox, you can see the Firefox is open here right now. So if I want to kill this process, I can kill this process from here. I will type 2288 and press enter and give signal 9 and press enter. You can see the uh, Firefox is killed now. You you'll not find the uh, Firefox application here. This way you can end the any task. You can press M. It will give you about the memory information. Uh, you can uh, if you want any help. For example, if I say Q, I'll quit out of this uh, top uh, command. I'll do clear. So if you want to change uh, the refresh every sec uh, every three seconds. Uh, you want to see the changes every th 3 seconds, you can see minus D as a delay of uh, 3 seconds and press enter. For every 3 seconds, the status all would be changing, the process status would be changing, updating you to the, what is exactly process going on. You can see, you can kill the top process here, the top process. Uh, the, uh, the ID of top process is, we'll see first the ID. So the ID is 2309. So if you want to kill the top, you send K2309, press enter and give a signal 9, you can see the top command is killed. You now you can see the top command, this way we can kill any command, any process which is currently running. So you can kill the top process itself, or you can give delay. If you want more help on this command, you can go to man pages, you can say man top. So you can see it says displays Linux task. So it gives you all complete information about the uh, tool top command. You can use top command. So if you want to check what are the processes running under your uh, Mac user, you can use PS minus UX. Okay. Press enter, you get all the processes which are run by Mac user. You can see these are all the processes which are run by Mac user. You can also use a PS minus UX command. So if you want to kill any process, for example, uh, we'll open a Firefox or any other application. We'll, what we'll do is we'll open a Google Chrome application. So now, now the Chrome is uh, opened. The Google Chrome is opened. So now if I go to ter terminal, I'll clear the screen. PSUX. I can grep the command. You can see I can use a grep command to grep only the Chrome 
uh, what is the process of what is the uh, what is the process ID of Chrome? I can grab that command and press enter. You can see all the processes which are running under Google Chrome is you have you all you have all the PIDs here. So I can kill this uh, process. I can say either p kill minus nine and process name. I can give. I can say uh, a Chrome. I'll press enter. You can see the process is killed here, and now, now you cannot find the Google Chrome here. Uh, it's killed right now. So similarly, I can kill any process. I can go to internet. I can start a uh, Opera. So now the Opera is open. So what I'll do, I'll try to kill this Opera here. I'll say P Q minus nine Opera and press enter. Okay, minus nine. And press enter. You can see the opera is killed. So this way you can kill any process. You can grab, you can do a PSU minus UX and grab any application name you want. If you use a minus I command, it's case insensitive. It will find a Chrome. We'll see whether the Chrome application is running or not. You can say, you can see there's one Chrome application is running here. Uh, we can kill that process. You can take the PID 2434, 2434, kill minus 9. 2434. Whenever you use a PID, you have to use kill command. Whenever you use a process name, you have to use a P kill command. So you can kill the process. It says no such process because it's just a, it's already been killed. So you can grab anything. You can grab any port numbers or if you just do a PSUX, you get a lot of lines here. You can see if you want to grab any word from here, for example, if you want to, uh, Genome panel, uh, for example, if you want to check the panel, uh, c which process the panel is running on, or which process the genome terminal is running on, you can have the, you can see the PID is 2169. So we can also do like this, PSUS minus UX grep. So we are piping the output of PSUX to the grep command. I'll use minus I. I'll use terminal. So I can just give simple uh, words, uh, uh, half of the word, so it will search. You can see genome terminal is one command, and other command is grep command, which is we are already doing it, which is we are we executing right now. This one is the currently executed command. And there's a, if you want to kill the terminal uh, program, you can kill kill minus nine two one six nine. So this terminal will be closed. So this way we can um, check the processes. It's similar, almost similar to the Windows Task Manager manager in the Linux, uh, sorry in the Windows. Uh, you can also uh, see some uh, information about process. You can say cat to pro slash proc is the directory about the process. You say there are a lot of information. What I'll do, I'll say no. I'll give only mem and tab. Because if you want to get any memory information of the process, you can see the total uh, information about the memory. If you want to know the information about CPU, you can do CPU info. Press enter, you can see it will give you the information about the CPU here. It's a genuine Intel. It has CPU family 6, model 23, Pentium dual core, 2.6 gigahertz. So it will give you a lot of information about the CPU. You can also like look for any information. Part, uh, partitions. You can check the partitions which are mounted. Or you can also check. Timer list. So you can check the timers, clock events. You can check the mounts. What are the devices that's been mounted? What are the partitions that are mounted? You can do. You know about the swap memory. So you get all the information in slash proc directory. So you can get any K message, yell. So what are the locks? So all in all information can be obtained by slash proc directory. Slash, you can also cat slash. You can see network information. If you want any network information process currently want to see route, you can check what are the 
routing process information. So everything can be obtained from slash PROC. So all the process will be uh, taken care or, or maybe stored in the uh, slash proc directory. You can also check the wireless uh, information here. So what are the wireless information? What are the wireless links? All process layer information can be obtained from slash PROC directory. Friends, uh, in this video we saw about uh, terminals where a uh, uh, process, how to kill a process, how to... If you want more information about kill command, you can use minus uh, help. So you'll get kill minus help. Okay, uh, you can use kill man man pages for kill. So it'll give you what are the commands, what are the... Uh, options available for you. So what a number 9 means, what's a number 11 means, what's a 13 means. So signal priority, there, there's something called priority of a process. You can also do that. Currently we're not going to discuss, discuss about all those things. But as you see, in this video we saw about uh, process information. So we'll see uh, more in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching this video.